Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, what have I got here? Tay Marta. Um, and uh, Tay Marta is a winery that uh, uh, was, I suppose, one of the founding fathers of the modern Hawke's Bay era. And they became known for their excellent reds. Uh, there's, uh, their top one's called Coleraine. And uh, then their grapes, uh, Chardonnay. Uh, they, they call Elston, is it? And they had a pretty good Sauvignon named Castle Hill. Uh, and then they've got a Syrah called Bull Nose. Uh, I have no idea why this particular varietal doesn't get uh, a name of its own. It just says Gamay Noir on there. Yes, Gamay, the Beaujolais grape. Uh, there are a few examples of it in other parts of the world, but um, uh, not too many in New Zealand. And um, this is one of the... It, they, they've been doing it. It's not something that they, they've suddenly jumped on the bandwagon. I think they've been doing it for about 10 years, maybe. Well, something like that. There'll be a link somewhere that you can find further details of. And, uh, uh, and everything that you could possibly want to know, and possibly more besides. Anyway, dig in. Well, it's got that youthful um, cranberry, blackberry, um, raspberry, and earthy pepper crunch of, um, of, of what I associate with uh, Gamay and Beaujolais. Uh, quite pale in colour. I don't think that they, they think quite a lot of Beaujolais has got a little bit more um, depth of colour to it, but it uh, doesn't smell like it's going to be short of flavour. Oh, yeah, that's just a really joyful, crunchy, um, yeah, the, the cranberries, the, uh, the red berries, the earthy pepper. Um, nice depth of flavour. A slight candied element there, but not too candied. Uh, there used to be the, I can't remember the name of the boiled sweets, but they, they used to have this layer of sugar on the outside that used to have a little bit of give before you got to the hard bit of the boiled sweet. Very much that sort of impression here. Um, could I mistake it for a Beaujolais? I'm sure I could. Um, maybe if, if it differs from a Beaujolais, um, it's, uh, everything is really nice and juicy, clean and ripe. Uh, I associate, um, if I think of Beaujolais, I think uh, th there's, in, in the good years, Beaujolais has more co concentration, depth, grunt and tannin than that. In the bad years, uh, it's probably got earthier, greener elements. So, um, uh, but I... I Hey, I, I very happily say I would probably get it wrong. Anyone who says different, um, well, they might be right 50% of the time and the other 50%, hey. But, uh, pretty nice wine. Uh, only slight concern is that uh, it's £18. Um, if it were £12 or a bit cheaper, uh, I, I'd be going, yeah, yeah. It's a nice, juicy, but not hugely complex wine. Very enjoyable. I'd chill it down slightly. But um, good, yeah, good, really, really rather good. Let's just put it like that. See you soon.